breaking news from the South Metro area. As you look at the view from Sky 4, a person shot by a JSO officer died. Investigators say he turned toward the officer with a knife. This is the second shooting this month involving the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. This latest one happened at the Gate Gas Station near Phillips Highway in Emerson by Interstate 95. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett is live on the scene. Jim, no police officers were hurt. No officers were hurt, no customers were hurt, and no employees were hurt. I'm going to show you. It's still a very active scene. Police still have that gate station blocked off, so customers now can't get in there. Now, the man, as we said, was killed this morning by the gunfire from an officer. But all of this started just before 7 o'clock. By the way, these sirens that you're hearing behind me, that is something else that is going on as well. But it started just before 7 o'clock this morning. Apparently, a lot of customers in the store. This man came in, according to police, he was had a knife in his hand and he was mumbling incoherently around there. Customers said at the time he was walking around saying, cursing as well, took some liquid from the shelf, poured it on the floor. There was concern by the employees in there that he might set that on fire. They were able to get all the customers out of the store. But then this man apparently jumped the counter, according to police, and kind of barricaded those employees into the store. Police were called at that time. JFRD, the firefighters, were the first to arrive. They couldn't go in until police got there. Then the officer came in, and at that time, the suspect turned towards the officer. When Officer Santoro engaged him, the subject was still armed with a knife. He told him repeatedly to drop the knife and to comply and to get on the ground. The subject decided that that wasn't something that he was going to do. Instead, he turned towards the police officer, and the officer discharged his weapon several times at the suspect, incapacitating him. At that time, JFRD responded inside and transported the subject to an area hospital uh, where that subject uh, was pronounced deceased. Um, the police officer has been placed on an administrative leave at this time. That was Officer Richard Santoro who fired that shot. And actually what we're learning that this was his third police-involved shooting. We know that he was involved in 2010 at the Bay Metal shooting. There, that was an incident back then that uh, came under scrutiny at the time, but he found no problems at that point. Because the other shooting he was involved in, we're working to find out what that case was. And as you had heard, he is out on paid administrative leave. Still lots of questions out here. Who was this man? What actually happened here? And those are what we're trying to find out today. For now, we're live on the South Side. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.